Number nine, Paddy Cripps is next. And I'm always looking forward to doing this. Um, the guy just puts a smile on my face every time I talk about him. Um, to be honest, I think for us Carlton fans, because we've watched him so closely, obviously, I thought he had a better 2018 than 2019. Um, I think some of the games where he had those down games were a bit more evident in 2019. Um, he probably had a, a, um, a better ceiling in terms of how good his best performances were. Um, but there were some performances in there where he was just a non-factor. Uh, and, and I mean, obviously, that's been well documented and he came very close to just breaking down. We know that um, the week leading up to the Brisbane game uh, before it all started turning around under David Teague. And, and to be honest, that was quite scary in retrospect, seeing that we almost emotionally ruined him or the club had almost emotionally ruined him. But I mean, what more can you say about this guy? He's our captain, our co-captain. He's our talisman. Um, he plays the game the right way. And, and he's one of those players that I'm yet to meet a single supporter of any footy club in the league who says a bad word about Paddy Cripps. Um, such is the way that he plays. He's almost, he's kind of reminded me of Steph Curry in the in, in the basketball scene. And the reason why I say that is because Steph Curry revolutionized the three-point line and the three-point shot uh, in the game of basketball. And I think Paddy Cripps is one of those midfielders, along with you know Nat Fife and, and even maybe Marcus Bontempelli, who are now these tall, 190-plus centimeter midfielders who are stronger than the the you know the, what the average midfielder has traditionally been, taller with the same engine, and it's quite remarkable uh, at what he's been able to do. If anything, I've noticed with Cripper. Uh, in the preseason, he's lost a little bit of weight, and he's he's he, there's a few quotes out there of him confirming that. Uh, maybe two or three kilos looks a little bit lighter, and I think the plan with him has always been eventually to really utilize him as a forward, and I think that's probably what we want in 2020. Yeah, we'd love to see him get those 34, 35 possession, 18 clearance type games, um, but I think he we like we really haven't unlocked his full potential which is obviously very scary i think for crips and we've spoken about this throughout the entire year last year i think for crips to take that next step um he's going to have to go forward and kick let's say 25 to 30 goals in a year i think it's just a win win for everybody it's a, probably a win for crips he gets to rest he gets to stay on the field um he gets to hit the scoreboard add another layer to his game and uh, I think what it will also mean, because the only way that you get Cripps forward consistently is if somebody else steps up in the midfield and really allows us to have the faith that we're not going to get belted at stoppages. So um, from that point, that's probably what I want to see in 2020 from Paddy Cripps, 25 to 30 goals. And I'm sure he would have a similar goal. I've seen him training you know, regularly as a, you know, in the forward line when they do their, their scratch matches. Um, but I mean, he, he's a guy that probably you don't really compare him to anyone else but himself. And that's probably where the, the comparison from 2018 to 2019 comes. Um, I say this, I hope he doesn't win the Brownlow. And the reason why I say that is because I hope we have such a deep midfield where we're in a situation where they're stealing votes off each other. But I mean, the guy is always a Brownlow favorite. He's always in contention for the medal. I hope he does win one in his career. Um, but if you know if if it comes in a season where he's rewarded for the team winning, I mean they'll be happy with that. I think that's probably what's going to happen with him once we start winning games. He's you know he's going to start um, being even more respected around the league. Uh, you know as the one that really stuck fat and you know the quotes about leaving to go to Perth and winning a flag for West Coast as opposed to winning one with this group. You know, they're really evident, and the character of, of Cripps is really evident in when you hear him speak like that. Um, you know, he's 24 years old now. He's starting to only just hit his peak, and I'm just so excited uh, to have him at the club. It's very exciting to have a player of his caliber playing for your footy club that you can watch week in and week out, and it's going to be even better when we're winning games and he's enjoying himself, and you just saw the smile on his face in that round 12 game against Brisbane, and that's the kind of energy you want to see around him. Hopefully everybody around him can really lift their game and improve and he can really be the, the focal point of what looks to be a, you know one of the better midfields in the competition for years to come. Um, but having said that, I want to see that 25 to 30 goal mark for him this year and, and uh, I think that's going to help him prolong his career. What about you? How do you see 
the skipper season playing out? Let me know in the comments below.